It is my great pleasure to welcome you to my channel, Laser Graphics and Multimedia. My name is Rafi Yakub right here, and today's video, I'm going to teach you step by step on everything you need to know about WhatsApp community, a new feature that was introduced on WhatsApp, how you can use it, and how, to, how you can create a WhatsApp community. So, with that being said, so let's dive into the tutorial. But before we dive deep into the tutorial, if you're very new to this channel, remember to click on the subscribe, turn on the notification bell. So, each time I post content about the WhatsApp topic, you'll be notified. So, let's begin. So, the first thing you have you need to understand is that WhatsApp community is only uh, available on a normal WhatsApp right here. So, I'm going to click on here to access my WhatsApp. So, for you to access the uh, WhatsApp community tab, what you need to do is to click on this icon right here. So it's take you right here. So how do you create a WhatsApp community? The first step you have to take is to click on new community right here. Then it's take you right here. Next thing you want to do is to click on get started. Then you have to write your community name. So you can name it whatever you like. Training content. You can click on here and write the community description. By default, you have to cancel all this information right here and write the community description. Welcome to community. All right, so I just put the description that, that way. Then click on this I bar right here to proceed. So you can see right here that a community has been created. So what are the things you can do on WhatsApp community? So WhatsApp community allow you to match as many as possible group together, match them into a one community and communicate to all group member, which means that whatever you communicate in the community, it appears to all member in the, in the particular group that you match into a WhatsApp community. And for a WhatsApp community, before you can add a group into the WhatsApp community, you must be the owner of the group, you must be the admin, or you must be an admin of the group. So let's check it out on uh, on our community. So I'm going to click on here. So it open up this page. Okay. Now, if you type whatever you want to type, you can use this button right here to type. And uh, when you type, you send, and it's it, uh, available to all community member okay if you want to add member into your community just click on this icon right here add member so if you click on add member then you can pick on whether any any member from your contact list so this is for individual member added to the community so if you want to add more people maybe you want to add as many as possible group into your community so what you need to do is to click on the content training uh training content announcement just tap on the community uh, tab now at this section there are a lot of things you can do so let's move to community tab right here so under the community tab you can edit community info so you can edit community info you can match group you can do community settings and uh and the like so you can add member right here and then you can scroll down and uh, right here, this allow you to exit from a community, report a community and the artifact a community. So these are the things you can do under the community section. And uh, if you want to edit your community info, just tap on here and you type in whatever you want to edit. Maybe you want to edit the community name or you want to edit community description or you want to add profile icon into the community so these are the things you can do under the community uh, edit community tabs and you want to add more group you can click on match groups right here then you will be asked to uh, create a new group or if you don't have a new group you can add an existing group so for you to add an existing group just tap on the icon and then you select the number of group you have on your whatsapp so this is how you match group or how you can add multiple people into your community uh, that is it then let's check out the community settings what are the things you can do under community settings under the community settings who can add to your group so this is where you set some permission so if you want everyone to be adding people to your group you can leave it in uh, everyone but if you don't want any everyone to add into your group 
you need to click on here and then do the proper settings. So if I click on here, then only admin, uh, only admin community uh, can add to this group or everyone. So these are the two options that you can use as far as uh, community uh, settings is concerned. Now let's take a look at the top of the icon at the top right here. Right here, this is invite link and this is hard member and this is another hard groups. Now let's start from the invite link right here. So what are the things you can do under the invite link? So under this invite link, this allow you to copy. You can click on here to copy the uh, group uh, community link or you click on copy link right here. So if I click on copy link, it's going to copy. So you can see it has been copied to the clipboard or you can also share the link to the people maybe on WhatsApp, uh, on other WhatsApp, or uh, on social media, etc. So just click on that icon. And also you can easily uh, make a QR code of the community and send it to anybody that wants to join the community. What they need to do is to just scan the QR code and they will be automatically join the, uh, the community link. If you want to reset community link, just click on here. So for you to reset a community link, this simply means that you have distributed the link all around and you don't want many people, you don't want more people to join the link, to join the community through the link. If you want to reset it, just click on here. And if you click on here to reset, this simply means that no one will be able to use it to join the community again. That is just the meaning. So if you have been, you are distributed the link for so wide range and you don't want people to join the link again, just reset the link right here. Once you reset the link, nobody will be able to join the uh the, the community any longer so let's go back that is for that then hard member we have explained on that and hard group we have also explained on that so let's take a look at announcements so announcement tab so under the announcement tab what are the things you can do now the first one here you can move notification you can consume uh notification you can media uh, decide the media feasibility uh, you can scroll down also, you can just turn on or off disappearing message. You can uh, also do chat log and also phone number privacy. So let's take a look at them one after the other. So for you to do, uh, for you to move to a notification, just click on this tab right here. Then you will be asked, do you want to move to notification always or one week or eight hours? This is depends on how you want the notification to be. A notification mode simply means that once you move to the notification, any, any announcement in the community, you will not be able to be alert. So unless if you visit the community, because you have moved to the notification. So you want to move it in always, just put it in that way. You want to set a costume uh, notification. This is where you need to tap on here, use costume, and you can select on any costume you want right here. So let's go back and Right here, media feasibility, show newly downloaded media from this chart, your device to gallery. So you can put it by default or choose any of the option right here. All right, so uh, for disappearing message right here, you can decide to make the timer 24 hours. This simply means that any message sent to the community after 24 hours, it will be wiped off or seven days or 90 days or make sure it's off this simply means that by de by default there is nothing like uh messages disappearing on your in your community so let's go back now let's take a look at chat log chat log is a great feature that allow you to lock your chat so if you enable this icon see they're going to tell you that set up your finger lock to this chat then this will allow only you to read the chat on this community. So if anybody have access to your phone, they will not be able to read what is going on on the community. So that is for the chat log. So the last tab right here, which is phone number privacy. Let's check it out. So under the phone number privacy, your phone number is visible in this chat. Facility bank can see your phone number because you are a community admin. Now, what this simply means is that there is, uh, if you have as many as possible member in your community, other member cannot see other people's uh, other member community member phone number. Only your phone number will be visible to them. 
So if I click on OK, so it means that I have set this in a situation whereby all the community members will not have access to each of and every one phone number. So because I want to limit the conversation between me and the number of the community. That is why this uh, phone number privacy is there. Okay, so this is what I have for you guys as far as complete WhatsApp community tutorial is concerned. I hope you really got value for this video. If you find this video useful, give this video a big thumb up. And also, if you have not yet subscribed to the channel, remember to click on the subscribe, turn on notification bell. So each time I post content like this, you'll be notified. Thank you so much for watching this video from the beginning to the end. And I hope to see you in my next video. Bye for now.